came with some merchants and he asked he asked them atadruna mal muflis do you know who is a bankrupt person he's talking to businessmen you can imagine what their answer is going to be imagine you bring someone from wall street who is bankrupt they'll tell you the bankrupt person is the one who doesn't have $100,000 in his account. Right? They think only in terms of money. So these businessmen, they're sitting with the Prophet. Rasulullah says, do you know who is the, who is the bankrupt one? They say, Ya Rasulullah, the one who is bankrupt is the one who doesn't have a dinar or a dirham. They don't have money. Rasulullah says, no. I'll tell you who the real bankrupt one is. Rasulullah says, it's the one who meets Allah on the day of judgment and he has performed a lifetime of salah, a lifetime of fasting, hajj, all of the obligations he's performed. But when he comes out of his grave, he gets surrounded by people who say, you owe me this. You didn't pay back this debt. You backbited against me. You insulted me. You did this, you did that. The disputants surround him. Rasulullah says they will ask for payment. In dunya, you give them money. In akhirah, the currency of akhirah is hasanat. You start paying them with hasanat. Allah, imagine that. You pay this person, pay this person, good deed. You, you start passing out your good deeds until you give away, Allah, you give away all of your good deeds. But there are still, there's still a line. People are still asking, where is my right? Where is my right? And the person says, Ilahi, I don't have any more good deeds to give. Allah will say, take their sins. Take their sins. Isn't this bankruptcy? This is the real bankruptcy. This is why Imam Zainul Abideen salawatullahi alayhi Allah In dua, Abi Hamza Thumali, what does he say? وَمِنْ أَيْدِ الْخُصَمَا مَنْ يُخَلِّصُنِي He says, Oh Allah, in that dua, Oh Allah, on the day of judgment, who will save me from those who come and ask for their haqq? Pay it now, because it's a lot more difficult to pay it there.